Lesson 7 of Chapter 5 is on Similarity and Congruence Transformations. First, we're going to identify similarity transformations, then we'll identify congruence transformations. If you don't know what rotations, reflections, translations, and dilations are, I, I really recommend you going back and watching that video because that teaches what these are in more depth. Just know that rotations come in three types. You have rotation 180 degrees around the origin. We have a rotation 90 degrees clockwise, the way a clock goes. We have a rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise, which is the opposite way. Reflections reflect across the y-axis, would be a left or right reflection. Then across the x-axis, which would be an up and down reflection. Then translations either go right or left, or up or down, or both. And then dilations multiply times a scale factor. First it says, identify each transformation from the original to the image and tell whether the two figures are similar or congruent. The original is the one without the little ones by it here. So what I can do is I can plot out these points of A, B, and C and then plot out A1, B1, and C1 and see how they match. So A would be negative 2, negative 1. And then A1 would be negative 4, negative 2. B would be 1, 2, and then B1 would be 2, 4, and we could do C as well. C would be 2, negative 2, and then C1 would be 4, negative 4. As you can see, all the values of the new image are twice as large as the old image. And if we see that, we would go back and we see that dilations would be a multiplication times a scale factor. So that's what we would say. It would be a dilation uh, by a scale factor of 2. And then it asks us if it is similar or congruent. Similar means same shape but not the same size. Congruent would be both same size and same shape. It will give you a little hint. The dilations are the only transformation we're working with now that are similar and not congruent. As you can see, this size very much changed. It's still the same angles and still the same proportions, but it is not the same exactly. So we would say similar transformation. So now let's move on to these ones then. So same task, identify the transformation, and then tell whether it's similar or congruent. Here I see that A was moved 3 to the right and 4 up. D was moved 3 to the right and 4 up, C 3 to the right, 4 up, and B 3 to the right and 4 up. So it looks very much like this would be a translation 3 to the right and 4 up. So that would be my transformation. Would this be similar or congruent? I see that the shape is very similar and then also the sides are all the same, same sides. 4 and 2. So we would say this is a congruent transformation. And like I said, dilations are the only type of transformations that aren't congruent. So these ones will be pretty easy when you find congruence. Now let's figure this one out. We go from A to A1. I have 1, 2 turning into 1, negative 2. Just to be sure, I'll check for B as well. 2 and 4 2 and 4, and then 2 and negative 4 if we look at B1. So what I'm seeing here is that the x's are remaining the same, but the y's are being flipped. x's remain the same, y's are being flipped. If we go back to our chart here, reflections across the x-axis, x's remain the same, y's are flipped. So this would be a reflection across the x-axis. And then these shapes look very similar in size, and you could get out a ruler and measure them, but I'm just going to save you the time. And remember, if it's not a dilation in today's lesson, they are going to be congruent transformations. So that's what we're going to call it. We'll just say congruent this time. One more. So let's identify this transformation. Some people might be tempted to say this is a reflection across the y-axis, but you see that this one's upside down and this one's right side up. So I'm going to be guessing a rotation here, um, like this. But just to be sure, I'm going to check, plot out the points. Let's do B and B1, for example. B is 3 and 2. 
B1 is negative 3 and negative 2. Let's do C's just to be sure. C is 4 and 1. C1 would be negative 4 and negative 1. And I think this is all I need to solve this because a 100 degree rotation makes x negative and makes y negative. If you look at here, x became negative, y became negative, x became negative, y became negative. So I'm going to call this 180 degree rotation. And then remember this is not a dilation so it would be congruent. As you can tell here, this is 2 here, this is 2. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is also 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are ways of checking this to see if it is congruent. For now, we'll take the easy way and say that all transformations besides dilations are just going to be congruent. We're just changing the position, not the actual shape. So congruent.